Okay, so in this video, uh, I'm going to briefly discuss what quadratics are, uh, just a basic, basic talk about them. Um, so first of all, what is a quadratic expression? Uh, basically, it is a polynomial expression of degree two, right? So it is a second degree uh, polynomial and more or less, it'll look like this. This one is in standard form. We'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, but the point is, is it's a polynomial expression uh, to the second degree, right? So that's all a quadratic expression is. So anything like that would be considered a quadratic expression. Okay, so <clears throat> a quadratic equation. Okay, so that's where you have a quadratic expression set equal to something, right? So Really, it's just an equation uh, involving a quadratic expression, right? And again, involving a degree two polynomial. In this case, this is a monomial, but still technically, right? It's still a quadratic uh, expression, right? Set equal to something else, right? And the interesting thing about quadratics comes from what I call the duality of squares. So. I have x squared equals 25, right? If I was going to solve this equation, well, duh, I need to do the inverse of squaring x, which is to take the square root of x. And what I do to one side, I do the other. So I have x equals something. Well, what's the square root of 25? Well, we know it's 5, right? But it's not just 5. It's also negative 5. So I have to say plus or minus 5. And the reason for that is, Positive 5 squared, well, yeah, of course, that's 25. But also, negative 5 squared is also 25. And this is true of any square, right? So every square root, every square root will always have two solutions. And therefore, every quadratic equation, too, will also have two solutions. Even if that means it's a solution that repeats more than once, We'll see that later though. Okay, so standard form, right? So a standard form quadratic. So let's go back uh, to this first example here. So this is a quadratic expression. And this guy here is in standard form. It's in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This right here is standard form for quadratics. Right, whether that's an expression or an equation, right? And here we see that A is 1. Here we see that B is 2. And well, the, here we see that C is 1. Okay, so back over here. So this guy here is not in standard form. If I have a standard form quadratic equation, right, it has to be in the form AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. This is a standard form quadratic equation. Okay, so if I want this guy here to be in standard form, I need to say x squared plus 6x. I'm going to add 8 to both sides. And there I have it. AX, or AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero, right? Here again, we see A is one, B is six, and C is eight. And it looks just like how I need it to look. Okay, one last thing to cover in this video. So quadratic functions. Well, that's basically a quadratic equation, right? Except we have variable dependency. So what I mean by that is, well, I have y equals some function of x. That function of x itself is a quadratic uh, expression. I can spell. Right? So all a quadratic function is, it's a function, right, of x. It's a function of x. Wherein... that function of x uh, is quadratic. 
Okay, so real simple stuff in this video, a lot of uh, what about. Um, if you have any questions about quadratics, at least like in this very, very basic sense, obviously shoot me an email uh, or you know where to find me. Goodbye.